Hi all once again welcome back to my channel in today's video I would be following Charles tutorial in order to create the extreme drag transformation look so let's get started okay guys so this is me without makeup and I have Charles tutorial running here so I would be looking a little here as well so excuse me for that and um, so let's begin then so the first thing that he is using is a primer In the video Charles is using a color correcting concealer I would not be using it and I'm going to be using my own uh, eyebrows I'm not going to create the fake eyebrows so I'm straight away jumping into the foundation uh, step so yeah Charles is using stick foundation but I'll be using liquid foundation I usually prefer applying foundation in dots as blending it all over your face gets more easier and there won't be any chances of you taking an extra product than required Now with the help of a blending brush, I'll blend the foundation all over my face ensuring everything is covered. I love this Marks & Spencer foundation from their autograph range. The consistency is so light that the product blends seamlessly over your face. And in Charles' words, they are literally full coverage enough to cover my scandals. So we definitely love this and we have a whole lot that we need to cover today. So the next thing that I would be doing is I would be using a concealer which is my favorite concealer I have reviewed this concealer in my previous videos if you haven't checked it yet then go ahead and check out I would link it down for you guys You guys might have seen me applying concealer before foundation in my previous videos but here I'm following Charles step and I'm really liking the idea of applying the concealer over foundation. This is giving contouring effect to my face already. So the next step is to uh, blend out the creases. First I was thinking to follow an Indian YouTuber to create a makeup look but then I was looking out for something very extraordinary, something very dramatic. I saw this video of Charles and just decided to create the extreme drag transformation. I literally went and bought white eyeliner and white eyeshadow which I did not have before. Then comes the powder. I'm taking Maybelline setting powder and I'm gonna set the entire face with it. How Charles is doing. we have to contour and contour is a very very vital step to drawing makeup meaning that you have to go from a brother to a sister so we definitely need to add a lot more dimension back to the face so I'm yeah Charles you're absolutely right contouring is a very vital step to drag makeup but it's very funny the way he explained it contouring is like have to go from a brother to his sister he's really funny and I'm using my Maybelline contouring palette to chisel out my face Starting with my cheekbones, bringing it from up in light motion going right down. Same thing on the other side. And then chisel out my forehead. As in Charles video, I'm contouring by blending it at like a circular motion then kind of fading out circular ombre. And then moving on to contouring my nose, for which I'm using my nose contouring brush. So as per the video, we need to make the nose look even more pinched than usual. But my nose is a little bigger when compared to Charles, so it might not look as thin and pinched as it looks in Charles video. Okay. 
and last but finally not the least for the base I'm just gonna go to my MAC peach blush Charles is also using the same product I got this MAC blush only after decided to create this look and I'm loving this product Well, after giving a decent coverage blush, we get to move on to the eyes. Before that, one last time, I bake my face to really intensify the highlights even more. And finally, he moved to the eyes part. So he begins with highlighting on the brow bone and so do I. Charles White Eyeshadow is damn pigment. Can anybody get me that palette by any chance? So the first thing that he is doing is to start with a light shade. Uh, guys, I'm not using the same brand as Charles, but I have managed to get almost the same shades. Uh, maybe due to the lighting quality, the shades are not as clear as they are in actual. So the next thing is to deepen up the crease a little bit, using little circular motion to really build up that color, once again staying right above that natural line. For which I'm going with a little more darker shade. We have our shadow all laid out and nice and blended. Uh, so the next thing he is jumping is to the white concealer to cut out that crease. Now comes the trickiest part to create the wing eyeshadow for which Charles is using a piece of cardboard and I'm also going to try it with a cardboard and we'll see how it comes. I'm gonna place this card on my face right up against my eye and I'm gonna press it very firmly into my skin and start blending with the black eyeshadow right up against that. Blending the edge, blending in the crease so that it should not look harsh. I'm kind of nervous how it's going to come up as I'm trying it for the first time. So fingers crossed. And then I remove the card. Well, I guess it has worked. Like Charles, I managed to get a nice and defined line. With the black eyeshadow, I line right up against that waterline. Then I'll bring it to my lower lash line. My eyeshadow is looking a little bit laid out as Charles has created a fake lifted eyebrows which is giving an impression of a bigger eyelid already. And mine is natural and the gap between the eyebrow and eye is small and thus it looks a bit laid out. If that's making any sense, hope you guys know what I mean. We'll repeat the same on the other side. Once I'm finished with the eyeshadow, for bottom waterline, I'm taking a jumbo Maybelline eye pencil and lining my lower lash line by extending it down the inner corner. As you see, it's more draggy than the natural eye shape. To get the sparkle, I'm using a sparkly eyeliner. As it was the last minute, I couldn't find the product that he's using to add the sparkle. I 
because Charles is having a really big forehead, creating a fake lifted eyebrows is working really well for him. Fake lifted eyebrows would have looked really weird on my face, so I'm just going with my real eyebrows. Then with a black eyeliner, I line right up against that waterline. I love the highlighting part. You can literally see the difference after applying the highlighter. For lipstick, I'm going with a nude shade. In Charles' tutorial, he mentioned that nude shade would look really good for the extreme drag makeup. Uh, but he's applying a red shade in his uh, video. Uh, but if you see his thumbnail, uh, it's a nude shade. So I would also be going with a nude shade. Then finally comes the eyelashes part, which I still need to get hands on. I would be putting my eyelashes off camera, so excuse me for that. Uh, but I promise once I master the eyelashes, then I'll show it on camera. For eyelashes, I'm using Allure Most Wanted Lashes. I got them for £12 from Boots, especially to create this look. So finally, if you see, the look has got lifted drastically once he put the eyelashes on. So this is the final look, uh, if not exactly the same, but I still have managed to get closer to it. Uh, it could probably be the lighting quality that's making a difference, uh, but I'm glad to say that the problem will soon be fixed as I'm planning to buy a ring light. And if you guys have any suggestions on which ring light to go for, then please do let me know. So that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do hit the like button and share your comments about this look. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel. So until we meet again, take care. Bye-bye.